So we're on Superbike again. It's more of my 50 greatest tips. everyone bring on climate change that's what I say what an absolutely marvelous day here at Laverstock Downs Salisbury oh it's absolutely gorgeous and we're continuing on our 50 greatest tips so the tip from here number 33 is going to be always take the shot um, already this morning I've missed a kestrel <laughs> and a buzzard so uh, yeah I mean anyway the tip is always get a record shot so uh, just in case you thought I was fibbing here's the tail of a kestrel as I was setting up to uh, film this and uh, didn't quite get the shot but yep there was a kestrel so that's the tip from here grab it while you can um, and the photo I'll show from here was a more successful grab shot I had which was of a stone curlew in the Woodford Valley only three miles from Salisbury and uh, yeah my only shot of a stone curlew and it's in flight yeah. that's yeah. the tip get the shot while you can at least get a record shot doesn't matter what it is but no one's going to believe you unless you've got a record shot wow onward and upward on superbike oh hey on to the next location oh, i believe we've got a kestrel anyway i expect it'll fly off as soon as i get anywhere near but we'll see Well, we've driven round the corner here, nearer to Love Lane, Loverstock, and uh, the Duck Inn. Ooh, yeah, nice pub. Anyway, yeah, we just tried to get the Kestrel on the way here. It's hunting in the area, but um, it's a little bit far off for the reach of the uh, 400 millimeter. But uh, anyway, nice place to give tip number 33, which is curiosity is the key and uh, like with most things in life it pays to be curious and particularly in wildlife photography it pays to get to know your subject so really the more you get to know your subject the better your photos will become because you'll get that more intimate detailed activity for example the Adonis blue butterfly the more I learnt about the life cycle of the Adonis Blue, the better my shots became. Curiosity is the key. Tip number 34 from Laverstock. Laverstock Downs. Oh, beautiful. So the photo I'll post from here is of an Adonis Blue. And I say the more you get to know, the better your shots become. Um, this one was taken first thing in the morning, still with dew on it and uh, that's because I knew they would roost overnight and I was able to mark them the day before and get the shot the next day. So uh, yeah, link to an Adonis Blue. Not taken here, but at Clearbury Down, 
another video if you care to uh, watch the series on the blues. So the next tip on Camilla and I is a technical one and uh, for wildlife photography always set your camera on AFC autofocus continuous even when I shoot butterflies when I'm in autofocus I still use AFC tiny little movements in the butterfly's wings create movement and they change the focal plane at such close distances and indeed with any moving subjects birds in flight AFC auto focus continuous is my or AFS I think it is in Canon um, Nikon um, I use group for that I think in flight anyway whatever your continuous focus setting is on your camera use it for wildlife photography because it's a, a distinct advantage of you getting the shot you wouldn't otherwise get so tip number 35 AFC auto focus continuous sounds like a football club doesn't it but probably is and for the AFC shot um, I haven't got one from here because I missed that uh, <laughs> missed that pet pesky uh, kestrel but um, yeah the sh photo I'll put is of something acquired quickly in focus using AFC continuous and it's going to be a barn swallow swooping across a majestic barley field swallow 3200th of a second to capture this in flight swooping across the plane so uh, yeah AFC continuous so we have another technical tip from here and it's uh, always shoot in RAW most important folks um, JPEGs well save a lot of room on your computer but you just haven't got the flexibility in post-processing sometimes we have to uh, ooh, even on camera and I we have to adjust the exposure as much as ooh, two stops and uh, if you haven't photographed that subject in RAW unless you've nailed the exposure uh, you won't have a decent shot and you won't be able to do anything with it so the tip from here is always shoot RAW I think it's Jared Poland he was the first one had a big t-shirt on shoot raw and um, yeah you've got to shoot raw and um, well I suppose I'd better show an example of something that I've um, upped the exposure of quite a bit and um, so I've underexposed so uh, yeah an example of something I've underexposed don't know what it's going to be yet but it'll be just here and I'll let you know what it is drop down from Laverstock Downs to Churchill Gardens more in the centre of Salisbury and uh, yeah what a beautiful location 
um, just a park and uh, yeah people go jogging by and uh, walk their dogs regularly but uh, a lovely spot here in Salisbury so we've just had a lovely little swan family in Cygnets and uh, mum and dad just swimming down the river here absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah linked to a little bit of footage of that wonderful so the tip from this picturesque spot tip number 38 is getting to know locations repeat visits to locations you know well um, you never know what turns up in this area there's regularly kingfishers up and down usually first thing in the morning when there's nobody around but uh, yeah it's surprising and uh, repeat visits to areas you know well you get to know where the backgrounds are what's the best spots for wildlife photography yeah so the photo from here i suppose better be of a kingfisher um so uh, yeah link to a picture of a kingfisher so the second and final tip for this week from this area churchill gardens use your legs rather than your lens it always pays to get in closer using your feet and your legs rather than using the reach on the camera lens you'll always get a better shot so always get in close where you can of course this is not always possible um, but uh, a manufactured hide um, stealthy approach just get as close as possible feet and legs are better than any lens so uh, yeah it doesn't matter how big your lens is your feet and legs do a much better job so get in close as close as you can but don't forget don't disturb that wildlife because uh, yeah no shots worth it disturbing the subject you just won't get a natural shot so a photograph that demonstrates using your legs rather than uh, the camera lens um, was on Salisbury Plain the Great Busted um, somebody pointed me in the right direction of the Great Busted but they were way off in this field and um, I was very lucky because there was a, uh, a farmer's access road uh, which I was able to sneak down all the way down to where the great busted were in the field and then just pop up and get a shot of the great busted and I got this shot so uh, it's a um, the great busted on Salisbury Plain a shot obtained by using your feet and your legs rather than the lens We've got a dragonfly buzzing around this area too now. It's incredible. Yeah, just shows. Just pay attention. Stay still long enough in one spot and it's amazing what shows up. Don't think I can get a photograph of it, but uh, still. Looks like a uh, emperor dragonfly. Amazing. Yeah, it's been beautiful today. What a day. What weather. And... Uh, yeah what great locations so uh, yeah don't forget repeat visits to areas you know well Ooh, awesome hopefully you get something from these greatest tips even if you employ five of my greatest tips I'm sure it will improve your wildlife photography well I certainly enjoy making these uh, greatest tips videos for you from Salisbury hope you're enjoying them and uh, watching along um, so there's previous five in the series so uh, yeah really getting carried away don't know what tip we're up to now uh, was it tip number 38 that last one anyway great fun and uh, yeah only 12 more to go so uh, yeah keep watching for more greatest tips from Camilla and I <laughs>